Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm back with another reading vlog. And I have my bunny just chilling here, so don't mind him. I am participating in the readathon hosted by Rustic Pages on Instagram. I will link her Instagram and YouTube channel down below. But she is hosting a readathon with a, another bookstagrammer. Instagram will also be in the description, but they do a readathon every first Friday of a month. So it's the first Friday readathon, and this is the first readathon that I am participating in, and I'm really excited about it. And today is Friday, so it started today and it ends at on Sunday uh, at 11:59 p.m. So it's currently 9:10 p.m. And I've been getting a lot of reading done lately. So the books that I'm reading for this um, readathon are The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. This I have already started. I'm on page 235. So I just read as much as I could and got really far. Um, and I'm trying, I want to finish tonight or tomorrow morning so that I can start my next book, which is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This book has been out for quite a while now, and I've been really wanting to read it for so long, um, because I've heard so many good things about it, and I've actually really wanted to try an Adam Silvera book for a long time. So that is what I'm going to be doing this weekend, and I'll let you guys know how I do. We'll just... I'm just going to do some updates here and there and also some time lapses of my reading. Um, and they're not going to be as long as my other ones that I've done in the past, like my Turtles All the Way Down vlog. Because I know it can get boring to just see me read for like a minute long. So, yeah, so I'm just going to read a bit, watch some booktube, and probably go to bed soon because I didn't sleep. I just finished my book and I sound so tired because I am. I stayed up way later than I was expecting it to finish this book. It is currently, what time is it? 11.30. So now I get to read the, uh, They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. But I'm not going to start that until tomorrow because I am so tired and I want to go to bed. So I'll see you guys all in the morning, aka in just a second for you guys. Good morning guys. It is currently around 7 o'clock, I believe. Yep, it's 7 o'clock sharp. And I woke up really early this morning and I didn't plan to. But it just, I guess, happened and I look so crazy right now because I literally just woke up and I woke up went on my phone and then I've just been sitting here I got my bunny and cuddled him for a little bit because he's been alone all night and I'm the only one up so I was like why not and then I decided to start reading because I'm just sitting here why not read because I can't really fall back asleep when I wake up I can't fall back asleep so yeah I'm probably gonna try to get in some of they both die at the end and then we'll see what I'm doing after that all right you guys so it's now almost nine o'clock in the morning I got to almost page 40 so yeah, I'm doing pretty good and I'm gonna go probably get some breakfast and make some coffee.
So I've just been sitting here reading my book and drinking my coffee and eating breakfast, which I finished. And I also took some pictures for books, my bookstagram for um, my review of the two books that I've been reading. Now I'm just going to read more probably and see what I do with the rest of my day. I'm probably going to go out maybe, hopefully, and get some pictures that I wanted I uh, set in to get printed. Also, my thoughts right now about the book is that it's pretty good. Um, it's actually really easy to remember which person is talking because there's two different narrations. One is Rufus and the other one is Mateo. And they're very different people. They're very, yeah, they have very different personalities. Yeah, I think this writing style is actually pretty good. I really like it so far. Hey guys, so I have stopped kind of reading a bit. Um, I was just hanging out, kind of chilling. Uh, I was on my phone, on Instagram a bit, and texting friends and stuff. And then I went to Walgreens to pr get some pictures printed, like I said I was going to do. So I got all of these pictures printed. There's like 28 of them, and then I already had those printed. But I'm getting a little collage thing from Amazon. It's supposed to come today. It is going to put all my pictures on the wall. I'm going to put it on this wall, and it's going to look really cool. And then I'm going to do a room tour for you guys, so stay tuned for that. All my friend's here, and she's not even paying attention. <laughs> Alright, so my friend just stopped by for a quick second after uh, her shift at work. But now I am going to eat because I made some, um, I guess ramen, but not really because I didn't use the packet and I put cheese and stuff in it. A really easy way to make it. So I am on page 79 now of the, they, uh, they both die at the end. And this is the last page of part one. So that now I'm on part two. So uh, remember when I said I would probably just do some reading and watching book two? Yeah, that didn't happen. So I just spent the last hour watching Taylor Swift's new documentary, and I mean, I'm not. I don't regret it. <laughs> that could have been some reading time, good reading time, but no, I'm not gonna hate myself for it. Like I. It's not like I had to finish this book or whatever, but I mean, it would be cool if I did, but I don't have to. You guys, it's only 3.25 p.m. and I'm about to fall asleep. I literally just sat here, closed my eyes, and had my book in my hand, and just sat for like, I don't even know how long. But I think I need to get up or something, because I've just been binge watching Emma books old Bibliothon vlogs, mostly because I wanted to see her old vlogs where she read, uh, they both die at the end, uh, while reading it. It's currently almost, what time is it? Almost 4.30, and I still have a chunk left of, they both die at the end. So, this is a readathon vlog, right? Obviously, so I'm supposed to like you know vlog my reading and kind of get as much reading as I can this weekend and I'm here sitting at my laptop with my book right next to me it's literally right there and I'm on my laptop watching booktube and doing my online class instead that I don't even need to do because I'm like way ahead in my class but I'm really loving my book so I'll probably get another good chunk of pages read by the time I update you guys later tonight. Alright you guys, so earlier in the vlog I told you that I had sent some pictures to Walgreens to get printed and I picked them up and I also had a collage coming from Amazon and it came and it is built and I'm really proud of it. I got all the pictures I wanted on it and organized and I really like how it turned out. Here it is. Voila. So this is the only thing on this wall. It actually adds so much. Uh, this wall used to be very blank and now it's full of pictures and fun memories and amazing people that I love. Laney. 
Okay, so that was my sister, but anyways. Yeah, this is the new addition to my room, and I'm super happy with it, and I'll talk more about it uh, in my room tour. Alright, you guys, so it is currently... What time is it? 11.14. And I was reading, and I was waiting for a good point to stop so that I could go to bed and then wake up tomorrow and... Hopefully finish this book. I feel like I really could. I only have like 40% left of the book. And I was gonna finish a chapter and then I was like, you know what? There's only a, a couple pages of this chapter. I'll just finish this one and then be done. And I kept telling myself that. And I read like five more pa chapters and then I ended up to reaching p part three of this book. I read more than I thought I would uh, at the end of the day which is good but I'm like shocked <laughs> so far I've read a total of 562 pages uh, so I've read of this whole book and then what I've read of this so if I finish this book I should have over 600 pages read this weekend and I'm shocked this is the most I think I've ever read in a weekend so I'm just gonna probably go to bed now and see you guys in the morning for the last day of this vlog good morning guys it's currently eight o'clock and i just woke up and i'm gonna read some of my book to kind of start my day it's the last day of the readathon it's sunday so hopefully i finish this and then i'm done and I can update you guys on how my reading went. If I finish this before 12 o'clock tonight, uh, then the reading the readathon will be done for me. I'm gonna go read. <laughs> So, it's a little while later now, and I have some breakfast here that I've been eating. <laughs> Wet willy. No. So as I was saying, um, I was eating breakfast. I had waffles, and I now I'm downstairs. I read. Um, I didn't read a lot when I was uh, in my bed reading. I was also on my phone, so I was a little distracted. But I am on page. Well, I said that word. I'm on page 247. I have like 120 pages left. So I'm just going to try and finish this book today. I really hope I do. And I will be giving you guys little short reviews of the books at the end of this video. I don't know if I already said that. I don't think I did, but yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's currently almost 9 o'clock. Is 8.54 if you can see that but it's 8.54 p.m. and I just finished They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera I did not want to go to bed until I finished this book and I did it and I almost cried because I loved the main characters so much I loved Rufus and I loved Mateo I loved that we got to see both of their perspectives because they're very different people and so it was very interesting getting both of their perspectives and the only thing I didn't love was some of the other characters perspective is it was third person but it was like their story uh, that uh, kind of connected to this main story of Rufus and Mateo uh, and things that Mateo and Rufus didn't know um, but overall it was a really good story I loved it so much and I really want to pick up another Adam Silvera book now as for the beginning of everything by Robin Schneider it was also pretty good I think I gave it three and a half stars out of five stars because the story I only really loved uh, Cassidy and Ezra's uh, relationship. Anyone else I did not care for. I mean, I like Toby, uh, but that's about it. I, every other character I didn't really connect with or like uh, in any way, and the story kind of had weird turns and weird direction, and it didn't really make sense. That end was also really weird. It definitely was a plot twist. Like, I was not expecting that. But, I don't know. It wasn't my favorite. So, yeah. I finished 
one of the two books I wanted to this weekend and I'm really proud of myself. I read, let's see, how many pages was it? This book, The Beginning of Everything, was 335. So let's add that in. They left it at the end, which was 368. So I read 703 pages this weekend. I'm so proud of myself because I never read that much. And I read a lot this weekend, and it was my first ever readathon I've ever done. So I'm really excited that I got to participate and also read a lot. And I'm really proud of myself. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this vlog. Let me know if you guys want me to vlog another readathon. Uh, of course, I want to participate in the one for March and every month from now on. Yeah, let me know if you want that. Let me know uh, if you participated. Uh, let me know in any books you recommend me read, any video ideas for the future. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!